To show the magnetic field around a solenoid, let's put on some iron filings, turn on the current, and you can see them start to move, and then let's add more iron filings. And fairly quickly, you can see the magnetic field lines going through the middle of the coil. We can see that down the centre, they're straight lines, but they start to curve at the edge of the coil. With compasses, they all initially point north, which is this way, but as we increase the current, they quickly line up through the centre. Let's look at that a little bit more closely zoomed in. We can see the compasses align with the magnetic field line through the centre. Watch what happens as we increase the current. This compass down here also gets affected by the magnetic field. And in fact, we can move a plotting compass round and see the shape of the magnetic field lines outside the coil, provided that we have a large current, in this case about 6 amps, flowing through. If we insert a soft iron core into the coil, we can make that magnetic field strong enough that we can use a magnaprobe to show the shape of it and even show the three-dimensional nature of it. Notice that it works with much less current than before. You can buy demonstrations that look like this, but I've never managed to get them to work very well because even with the maximum current, the magnetic field isn't very strong. The design that I've used is made with 0.8mm diameter enamelled copper wire and I've made it with 10 turns on each of these and that means that I have a current of 6 amps flowing, it's like having a turn with 60 amps flowing through it, which makes a really strong magnetic field. Here you can see how I wound the coil with a piece of dowel rod in the middle and just this centre section of the wood, it was quick to wind the 10 turns round each of these and then on to the next one. And you could then secure those with a little bit of sellotape or sticky back plastic. Here you can see the underside of the finished coil. Up to 4 or 5 amps, which is sufficient to show it with the compasses, it works without getting too warm. As you get up to 5 or 6 amps, it starts to get quite hot, so you shouldn't leave it on for very long. I must finish the video by thanking my technician and her husband, who put a lot of time into constructing the wonderful frame in which this all fitted, and producing such a convincing demonstration.